Hello there, fellow fish keepers. My name is Mike, and welcome to the Fish Tank Barn. If this is your first time here, check out some of the videos here on the channel. And if you've met your expectation of inspiration, education, and you've learned a little bit about aquaculture, uh, go ahead and hit that subscription button, ding the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the further updates here on the channel. Uh, that being said, uh, today we're going to take a fish room tour. Uh, we're actually going to cut this up in pieces just due to the sheer amount of tanks we have here in the barn. Uh, right now we have about a hundred or so. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with guppies. The first tank we come to is my 37 and a half gallon cube. This serves as the mutt guppy tank. This is home to a variety of different strains of mixed guppies. A lot of these guppies you would have noticed from the pond videos from last summer if you were following the summer tubbing series. You will also notice that this tank is home to some bumblebee platies as well. Planned wise we mostly have Valisneria in here. Uh, there's also some guppy grass that's managed to meander its way in here from some of the other tanks. So let's just take a second and enjoy these fish. All right, we now come to my 20 gallon, half black, any other color guppy tank. These fish were purchased at my local Michigan IFGA guppy show that happens every May. Uh, they're pretty stunning little fish. I uh, really enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, there are some females that I do need to move to the mutt guppy tank. Uh, as you can see that they don't show the half black coloration. Uh, so that will be happening pretty soon here. So other than that, let's go ahead and just take another second here and enjoy them. The next tank we come to is my 20 gallon high. Uh, these are some gold delta guppies that I also picked up at last May's Michigan IFGA guppy show. So let's go ahead and enjoy these guys as well. As you'll notice there are some hitchhiker cherry shrimp in here uh, that came along with some plants I bought at the same event. We now come to the next 20 gallon tank that has the black Moscows in it. Uh, this is just a colony I picked up last November. Uh, still working on it a little bit, but uh, definitely looking good. Uh, the next tank I come to are my red tuxedo guppies. I uh, got these at an auction and from a friend of mine. So definitely looking pretty good. These are some pretty stunning fish. I uh, really am enjoying them. Uh, haven't got any fry out of them yet, but I am looking forward to seeing some fry pretty soon and seeing how they turn out. Alright, the next tank we come to is the turquoise blue guppy tank. I picked these up from Dan's Fish about nine months ago or so. Uh, these have been some of the more prolific guppies I have in the fish room. Uh, I've sold them at various auctions and swaps. Uh, you can see some of the big females in here uh, are pregnant as usual. So definitely one of my favorites here in the fish tank park. Next fish we come to here is my 24 karat gold guppy. Uh, I've got this guy in a 10 gallon. Uh, she actually has dropped some fry. Unfortunately lost the male, uh, but this is another fish I'm pretty excited to have here in the barn. The next fish we come to are my albino koi guppies. Uh, you're going to see most of the female in this video. Uh, the male actually hangs out up in the duckweed. So let's just go ahead and take a quick look at these fish. We probably come to the most special guppies I have here in the fish room. Uh, these are the Horatio Dominguez guppies. Uh, they were actually collected by Rusty Wessel in Mexico. Uh, I did pick these up at the OCA auction. Uh, last November 
As you can see, they're really colorful, a uh, really nice blue pattern. Also have a ton of fry for these. So let's go ahead and just enjoy these for a moment. All right, the next fish we come to is my Red Strand Lace Double Sword Guppies. Uh, I picked these up at the OCA as well. Uh, these are wonderful fish, uh, starting to breed out now. The light on this tank doesn't do them justice, but they are extremely stunning fish. Well there, folks. I do hope you enjoyed this video on the Fish Tank Barn channel. If you did, so go ahead and hit the subscription button, ding the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the weekly videos we put out here on the channel. Uh, we do go live every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, so join us for that as well. So with that being said, stay fishy, keep on breeding. We do hope to see you on the next video.